Welcome to the shooting show. This week we're on East Yorkshire Fox Patrol with Stuart Wilson. Plus we bring you all the latest news from the shooting world. We're out lumping foxes tonight, or trying to. We're going to have a flash round, see what's around. First thing, usually, as I sort of pull onto the ground, um, don't tend to sort of stop by the, the entrance, try and sort of get into the middle of the ground. It's just easier for, for parking and getting the kit out. Um, so we usually sort of lamp the first two to three fields just to see if there's anything on, um, just to double check that we haven't, uh, we're not going to disturb anything as we get out. Um, if we do we see anything close, you can obviously get parked into a slightly different location, I'll go a bit further in and get your gear on um, unheard if it's at all possible. Stuart loads the mag with Gecko Express and makes safe before embarking on his nocturnal mission. Favouring lamping on foot for this particular ground, Stuart is hopeful of catching up with a specific fox or two who have been causing some problems in the area. First stop is the water troughs. They are regularly used by the resident fox population to drink from, but also as a source of cover. Stuart uses his raspy hair impression while lamping across the ground to try and draw a vulpine marauder into his beam. No fox, but rabbits are about, which is a good sign. Stuart continues to lamp, switching between his manual rabbit and hare calls. Hopefully one of them will be convincing enough for Charlie. We're out of luck at this location, but Stuart's not finished. He moves on, methodically lamping to his next stand. Unmistakable fox eyes shine back from well over 200 yards away. Unfortunately, that's all we see of this one. Never mind, the night is yet young, and up next is one of Stuart's favourite hotspots. Here his raspy hair call manages to draw the gaze of a resting fox. It's bedded atop the warm muck hill. Switching to his rabbit call, Stuart does all he can to lure him in. We successfully get the fox to the edge of shootable range. All it needs is one more attempt to pull the fox closer. But then our quarry slinks off. We've just uh, nicely got out onto this second section after we've had a, a quick move. We've been at, at one area and, and uh, spotted one set of eyes um, and then no joy. Come to sort of second main area a little bit further through the farm um, and come to uh, 
a sort of like a, a hot spot as it were. Um, there's, a, there's a muck hill that runs up along alongside one of the hedges. Um, and as we put the lamp across, you can see an odd rabbit kicking about in the far corner, which is always a good sign. I like to see rabbits out. Um, and then gave it a little bit of a call and pop a couple of eyes facing us. Um, I did my very best to try and sort of pull them in and uh, try to mix up my version of a, of a hair call and a, and a rabbit call. Um, and he, he was sort of coming at one point and obviously trying to trying to get it on film and uh, shoot the beastie at the same time um, can be a, a touch tricky. I think if I'd been single-handed without camera, I'd have, I'd have, I'd have dabbed him as he as he came off the muck hill. Um, but uh, he's peeped through the hedge and he's he's made sort of into a, a, a nice nice little corner um, so we'll just sort of either have another go for him a little bit later on or um, we'll just get him another night. Moving to the next stand Stuart is leaving nothing to chance if any more foxes dare to show. Right on cue, another fox appears. There's no safe backstop, so this chap will need to be drawn into a better position. The lamp is raised above the fox to help him relax. Hopefully it will come in better. Here he comes, bouncing in nicely. Stuart loses the lamp low and in front of the fox's path to try and stop him for the shot. Reloading, Stuart makes another quick call to see if anything was bringing up the rear. There's nothing, but we have one fox down on the spot. Time to gather up our quarry and check shot placement. No exit on this terminal chest shot. The night's not over just yet. There's time for a few more calls before Stuart's bedtime. So it's back to the same stand with just a slight shift of position. Stuart spots movement. We have another fox showing. Sure enough, out of the same hedge, the fox comes belting into the call. It's clearly identified as another youngster, and the shot is on. Successful end to a, an evening. Lamping foxes, um, both young cubs, um, come into the call with uh, varying sort of degrees of uh, success. First cub was a Quite a bit uh, warier than the than the, than the second. Um, it still, sort of came in quite nicely. So, uh, as everything's harvested and the uh, silage is on sort of second cut and the rapes coming down, the wheat's been uh, combined today on a, on another farm as well. So uh, now's the time to get on and get a lamp round. Now that you've got a bit of better visibility for seeing the foxes uh, on the shortcut fields. Um, definitely the time to be out lamping and, and having a look about. Um, Browning X bolt in 243 again topped off with a Swarovski uh, Z6 3 to 18 by 50 um, both performed effortless faultless tonight and um, put down two foxes that trotted in quite nicely. Um, one was trotted in and I was actually reloading the gun and trying to sort of squeal at the same time trying to cover the sound of uh, actually reloading the gun because I was just gathering up the first fox he sort of trotted in like last he was completely oblivious so um, both shot I would say certainly within sort of 50-60 yards so um, and the wind was wrong as well the wind was actually blowing sort of across me um, not directly at the foxes as they were coming in but you know certainly the wind was wrong but um, they were in the hedge I managed to call them out and get them onto onto um, a bit of dead ground and, and put them both down so job done
Stuart there, finally doing the farmer a favour. And now, it's the Shooting Show News. This is the Shooting Show News. There's an extremist and destructive campaign underway to get grouse shooting banned. A League Against Cruel Sports petition may lead to a grouse shooting ban being debated in Parliament, even though the government has already responded to the petition, highlighting the significant contribution grouse shooting makes to the economy and conservation. Basque's Tim Russell said the campaign was run by celebrity bullies and online trolls who were peddling half-truths, gross exaggerations and myths. White-fronted geese will stay on the quarry list after a successful campaign by Basque. After a long consultation, the Welsh Environment Secretary said geese were best protected by organisations with local knowledge, not by blanket bans. A voluntary moratorium on shooting white fronts will continue. For all your wildfowling needs, don't miss iShoot magazine. The Labour leadership candidates have weighed in on the shooting sports, and Jeremy Corbyn stopped short of giving them his full backing. Asked by the Countryside Alliance whether he supported lawful shooting, the current Labour leader said he supported the effective regulation and control of firearms with clear, accessible and enforceable laws as needed. His challenger Owen Smith said he does support shooting, but wants to ensure that our strong and effective firearms licensing system remains in place and is upheld. When asked about the intimidation of lawful shooters, both of them said they supported the right to protest. And finally, iShoot magazine has launched an auction to benefit the Gamekeepers Welfare Trust. Several sporting lots have been revealed, including row stalking, pigeon shooting and estate management equipment. The GWT provides a range of services for gamekeepers, including financial aid, education grants and a helpline. Check out all the details on the iShoot website or in the September edition of the magazine. That was the Shooting Show News. Well, that's it for this week. Thanks for watching. Please like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. And if you're not a member of Basque, it's time to join now. Basque, looking after your sport, looking after you. This has been The Shooting Show.